As soon as you register in Moodle, automatically an online profile is created. And such an online profile is somewhat similar to, for example, Facebook. However, your Moodle profile is only visible to your fellow students in Moodle. The idea behind the profile is to share personal information with your fellow students, to actually show that there is a living person behind that mail address and that forum post. What kind of personal information can you share and how to do that? Well, first of all, of course, you have to log in. We go to our Moodle site. And there we log in. Log in. And we enter our username and password. Click login. We are now logged into Moodle. And here on the left, you see the settings block with my profile settings. If you click that, a drop down menu will appear where you can edit your profile, change your password, and do some other things. Okay, we will choose Edit Profile. And here you see a web form where you can enter all sorts of personal profile information. The information that you see here with the uh, red stars is actually mandatory information and that is the information that you already entered when you created your Moodle account. Like your first name, surname, email address, city, town and country. For the time being we will just leave this as it is. And we will start with entering a description. Okay, that's it for the description. We will now upload a picture. Beware that uh, the size of the picture that you're going to upload should not exceed 75 megabytes. Okay, choose file. We're going to upload this uh, from our own computer. This brings you to the file picker where you can say upload a file. Okay, browse for the picture. Okay, this is me. I say open or I double click and I say upload this file. Okay, your picture is now uploaded. Um, if you want you can add a description but just leave it for the time being. Finally you can enter some of your interests. Alright, and finally you can leave some contact information for your fellow students to contact you. You can enter a web page if you have one. You can enter your Skype ID so that uh, people can Skype you. Leave your phone number etc. But uh, for the time being we will leave it. And um, don't forget to click update profile. And this is the profile as other students will see it when they click on your name somewhere in Moodle. Just to give you an idea what this will look like in the course, we will go to My Courses, ODL and OER, and you see that your picture has been added to your status block here. To see who else is online and to check their profiles, just have a look at the Online Users block here. And besides yourself, of course, you can see that there's one other person here online. If you click that person, you move to this person's profile. Here you can send uh, that person a private message um, and of course uh, also the other students if they click on your name they will get your profile here and they can send you a message. Okay, for now we will just return to the course and that's it. Thank you very much.